All right, now that we uh, created, um, we installed Git on our computers and uh, installed Tortoise Git to use uh, a GUI interface for our um, Git commands, uh, the next stage, the next logical step is to create an account on GitHub so we can have our repositories in a secure place on internet when and where we can access it whenever we want. There are so many benefits to this that I will mention it in class and you'll know it if you are in my class. Anyway, so uh, to create an account on GitHub, um, uh, go to github.com in a browser, click on sign up, uh, select the username. Remember this username stays with you forever so make sure you you create a username for yourself that is worthy of a professional don't put uh, silly names that 15 20 years from now you will be embarrassed by people seeing it this will always be with you so um, for me just to uh, for the sake of uh, a username that I want to create I'm going to create a user with my uh, student Seneca ID so I'm going to say my username is and I'm hoping that nobody got this so it check sign over here it means it's available um, for now make sure you put your uh, Seneca email the reason is that if you are not a Seneca student and you are doing this for your college, it's a wise idea you to put your college email over here. Uh, it has um, uh, the reason is that if any change or anything happens to uh, a repository that you're involved in, you're going to get an email to that account. And like this, any um, notification that will be sent to you will come to your attention quickly select the password for what you want to create for your account and then verify over here just to make want to make sure that that it's not a bot uh, it's uh, it's a human being so just make sure that uh, um, you set the picture in the right direction and then you'll be fine there you go now I'm gonna say create account so the account is created use the free one as a student you don't need you don't want to pay money and uh, it uh, uh, has lots of features as a student so you'll see exactly um, uh, what you can do with this <clears throat> recently github added uh, private repositories to its account so it's perfect for you to uh, put your work over here as a private repository and uh, uh, access it anywhere without anybody seeing it so you're gonna click on continue and it's gonna it's gonna tell you what you have done this say I'm new in programming and uh, um, I want to learn how to code and learn how to use git well, and then uh, just click over here what applies to you so in future they can uh, get to you for uh, whatever um, that interests you and then it's going to tell you to verify your email go to Seneca email of yours or your college's email or any email that you put over there go to the account so in our case will be uh, Seneca College let's log in myseneca.ca password all right I'm going to go to my email So I have something in here and that's the verification. If you do not receive this over here, it means Seneca is um, filtering it as a spam. Uh, if that happened, you have to wait. You will receive an email from the spam service of Seneca within a few hours or I don't know. It's going to come to you. Uh, when it comes, then uh, release the email. Uh, and don't release it actually you have to say permit click on permit so it doesn't uh, uh, clear it again then go back to uh, github uh, and click on resend to resend the email so please verify your email I'm gonna click over here on verify and there you go so as soon as you uh, your email is getting verified and bring it brings you in uh, 
it brings you to a page to create a repository um, a repository again it's uh, it's like a directory or uh, a place that you put um, certain work in github as a git repository and you can always access it from anywhere you want for example if you are in op244 and i want to have my op244 work in a repository or assignment 3 of op report or whatever you can have different types of repositories over here you can create a repository or just skip it because your account is created so i'm just gonna for the heck of it i'm gonna create one over here i'm gonna call it op244 say workshops or something like that or workshop 3 workshop 2 workshop 3 whatever you want uh, or general op244 as a repository so you can access it later on if the repository you are creating over here includes assignments and things that you are not allowed to share with others make sure you set it as private having it as as public will put the responsibility of copying on your shoulder if someone copies the code from you uh, the assignments or whatever you are doing and hands it to your professor and the professor googles the code and finds out it's on github on your account you will be responsible and will be accounted as cheating and plagiarism be extremely careful on that make sure it's private if um, uh, you have uh, code uh, and work that you don't want people to see initializing it uh, with the readme uh, adds a readme page to your repository so you can edit and put information about the repository in there I'm gonna add that one and uh, depending on what type of a uh, code you are creating um, you can add a git ignore dot git ignore is a file that ignores uploading certain file into your git re into your repository whenever you are adding stuff to it why you are doing this it's the reason is that for example when you are creating a visual studio project you do not need executables and files non c code files to be pushed into your repository you only want certain files in there dot git ignore holds a general rule for what files are not to be committed uh, or uploaded to the repository uh, so I'm going to put C++ this is a general thing for C++ we're going to add it add what we want later on so I'm going to say create repository now now the repository is created and as you see the organization over here is F Solima and the repository that is private is OP244 in here and now I can download it anywhere I want when I log into my git account so this is how you create uh, a github account as a student thanks for watching